Next, we're going to adjust the render bounds when rendering in Reaper. Over here, we could change our render bounds. So far, we've been doing entire project every time, but we don't have to do that. Instead, we could choose a custom time range. Let's put this back to master mix and change this to our project and name it section number one. And now we could choose a custom time range. The song is 211. Let's say we just wanted the first minute. So now all we're going to bounce or render is that first minute. Choose render. And now this render or this file is one minute long. See right here, one minute. So we can create custom time ranges for our bounces or renders or even our stems. Let's delete this. We can also choose to do it based on time selection. Let's choose this and let's close this for a second. Now let's create a time selection. Let's say from here to here is all we need. A little before the chorus, a little bit after the chorus. Go to render, choose time selection, and just that section is going to be rendered. Name it selection one, chorus one, and render it. And just what we selected is rendered. Right here. Now we could also choose under render bounds to choose project regions. This is going to render files based on regions we created over here. See up here? We have an intro, verse one, pre-chorus one, chorus one, verse two, pre-chorus two, and chorus two. Each one of these regions is set up for different parts of the song, and we can create separate bounces for each one of them. So if we go to render and choose project regions, it's going to create seven files because we have seven regions, which we can see right here. Here's the region manager. So let's choose to take a master mix, although we could also do stems, master mix and stems, or the region render matrix, which we'll get back to in a bit. Let's just do a master mix. But let's name it based on a project, which is rock song, and also based on the regions. The first one's called intro, but we'll have one for verse one, pre one, and so on. So let's render that. And we can see each one renders separately. And here they are the name of the project and the name of the region that was actually rendered. It's pretty handy. Now let's get rid of those and show you one other option. If we choose under render, region render matrix, this is similar as it's based on our regions, the ones up here, except it's more flexible. Let's go to the region matrix, and right here, we can choose exactly what's being rendered. For instance, for our intro, we could choose master mix, and it's going to render one file. But for verse one, we could render any group of tracks, or all the tracks. But let's just choose our kick, our overheads, and our room mics. And for the pre-chorus, let's choose the master mix again. Now for our chorus, let's choose our hi-hat and our bass tracks. And for verse two, we'll choose the master mix again. For pre-chorus two, we'll choose our guitars, which we can drag. And for chorus two, we'll choose the vocals. Now I realize this is a bit overkill, but you can see exactly how flexible or customizable it could be. So now over here, it's gonna render 27 files based on what we selected in the region render matrix. Now before we render these files, let's add another wildcard. We have our region, now let's add our track names. Now let's render them. And there's a whole bunch, all based on their region and the track they came from. 
And here they are, all named correctly, based on their region, and the track it came from. And we choose the master mix, the name master, right here. So like I said, it's pretty flexible and very customizable. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to render selected media items as separate files. Thank mm -hmm. you.